important task. It sure is, and, and uh, boy, she's just done a tremendous job at this because uh, coming into the astronaut office and into NASA with no previous NASA or spacecraft or even uh, like a lot of our folks have military flying experience, this, there was quite a, uh, a big learning curve for Dottie, but she sure stepped up to it and, and it's just fantastic. Are you on board at this time? That is all crew members on board. And as we are completing the closure of the hatch, we are at T minus 60 minutes and counting. Launch still scheduled for 6.21 a.m. and 25 seconds. We will use by the crew to gain entry into and out of the shuttle and it can be returned to position within seconds if it become necessary. Tired Lindsay, smile, you're on camera. <laughs> T minus six minutes, 30 seconds in count. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. TLS is go for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main start. And three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition.
performing at full cut capability. <laughs> at the box shuttle weighed more than four and a half million pounds and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight, the main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half. Solid rocket, bo rocket boosters alone are burning, burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second, and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds lighter than when it began. Discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude, traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. Booster officer in the Mission Control Center has confirmed solid rocket booster separation. All systems 